Hello, my name is Eric. I'm an immigrant from Korea, and I'm a founding member of Speak Up Production. We created this documentary to expose Americans to some of the stories of the many immigrants in this country, especially those in NYC. Enjoy! I'm a Latino, I'm standing for my community, regardless of what country you come from. You know, I'm taking part in that empowerment of my community. DAS stands for Dominico American Society of Queens, and it's an organization that provides the services. We're the ones that provide the tutoring assistance from grades one through eight. We help them out after school. Any type of skills that they might require, such as math, reading, writing, science, history, whatever the subject may be, you know, we have somebody there helping them out, you know, just making sure that they progress academically. Yo en el centro eh, eh, colaboro y también les tengo a las niñas en el, en el centro, en el programa. The societal needs, financial needs, uh, any type of community-based service that they needed, you know, DAS was there for them. They know what they want, but they don't necessarily know how to ask for it or what exactly they're asking for. We provide them with citizenship classes. They want to be a U.S. citizen, so that way they can continue contributing to, to the American society. Tú puedes aprender mientras ayudas y puedes conocer eh, muchas cosas sobre la inmigración. We provide them with um, computer classes. I took computer courses here. Uh, I was computer illiterate before I came here, and now I know. Now I, at least I know how to turn it on and do so, uh, some things on the computer. So, uh, and they do English as well. And uh, my daughter also comes here for after school every once in a while. I like it because they allow a lot of people come different uh, countries. It doesn't matter, you know, what immigrant group you are. Um, you know, we still provide the services out for anybody that needs them and who wants to take advantage of them. This is like a second home. When I come to the center, I help the kids because some kids here, they don't talk Spanish, but they have Spanish parents, so it's kind of hard to communicate with them. One of my goals is to contribute back to the community a little bit of what I gotten. And it's a sense of, it's a sense of good, goodwill and, and, and if you feel good when you do something for others. We're trying to help them. We're trying to help them out as individuals, as families, and every person that comes in here, we know them by name. I work with the kids. Um, that's difficult with the parents because some parents don't speak uh, English. The number one challenge for a foreigner is the language. Uh, we speak Spanish in the Dominican Republic. When I came here, speaking English, uh, oh, it was was hard. For me, at home, it's kind of confusing because I don't speak a lot of Spanish and only English. I have a hard time speaking Spanish with my parents. It's very difficult because no se pueden conseguir trabajos estables. Siempre hay que estar cambiando. A veces a muchas personas si no habla un inglés no la quieren contratar. This is a predominantly Hispanic community. Not many of them speak English per se. They might understand it, but not enough to get passed into a workplace. Bueno, mis hijos sí me han ayudado a traducir en, eh, en algunas cosas y a veces me siento incómoda porque la que tiene que, que enfrentar soy yo, no ellos que tuvieran que ayudarme, sino tuviera que enfrentar las cosas soy yo y a veces ellos son los que me ayudan. I appreciate my mom's like sacrificing her life coming the way she came because when we go visit to our country we see different things and sometimes like seeing new things scares you so what you have here like you appreciate everything. You know I go back and I see family uh, and, like, and my mom when we see family that have never come here and that live there they're still relatively poor so uh, she says that could have been us. You know, it's our family, and we help them as much as we can, but they don't have the opportunities that we have, and that could have been us, and they're very limited in how they, how they think and how they speak because of the fact that they don't see any future, really. Here we have access to so much technology that's not readily accessible in parts of Latin America, and which is something that we always try to correct over here. I went to my country like five times, those five times, it was very scary because there's a lot of robbery. Some people feel happy to have you there because in our family, some, some of them ask if we could help them with English and they could learn. So we help them and some of them, they don't like us because 
We speak English. Being a, a child of like two immigrants, so my mom's Mexican and my dad's Puerto Rican. So, um, you know, they've gone through a lot to actually make it here. And in the end, you know, everybody wants the same future for their kids. I think a person without any goals is like a basketball player playing with no hoop. I have a nine-year-old that she loves to write, she loves to read, and uh, she loves school, and she wants to be a teacher and a pediatrician. Los sueños que tengo para mis hijos son que tengan una mejor vida, que estudien, que, que puedan seguir la universidad, que puedan, que no se queden atrancados hasta que lo que yo, que hagan y que puedan lo que yo no he podido hacer. When I grow up, I want to be, uh, I want to be a doctor. When I came here, it started me thinking and I, like I wanted to become a lawyer because many people come here asking if they know places where lawyers could be contracted at like a low, pr a low price. My mom came here to give me a better education, to give me a better life. And thanks to her, I'm right now going to college, which is amazing. There's so much opportunities here for her as a young child growing up in, in New York and the US. You gotta, you gotta challenge your children and you gotta motivate them at the same time. I wanted to be a doctor. I wanna work with kids and this is how I start. We're here to get a better future, um, you know, and try to progress through and, and get the American dream that they've been looking for. Sky's the limit. The sky's the limit.